She is the manifestation of pizza. Well, at least the margarita pizza was named and invented for her. Born on November 20th, 1851, in Plaso Cherabisi, in Turin, Kingdom of Sardinia. So basically, Italy didn't always exist, and Sardinia united all the smaller monarchical states under one country, the Kingdom of Italy. Margarita was given a private tutor and was considered smart. In 1867, it was thought that she would marry Prince Charles of Romania, but instead, she was pressured to marry her cousin Umberto I, heir to the newly found Italian throne. They were married on April 22nd, 1868, and on November 11th, 1869, she gave birth to the future king of Italy, Victor Emmanuel III. Umberto and Margarita had a very bad relationship. As princess, she was sent around Italy to rally support for the new Savoy royal house. She became very, very popular, and she also ended up opening the most exclusive saloon in all of Europe. On January 9th, 1878, Victor Emmanuel II died, the former and first king of Italy, and Umberto I, uh, Margarita's husband, became king. She was made the queen, and she went around Italy, making the royal house very, very popular. After an assassination attempt on her husband in November 1878, the house even became more popular. She worked feverishly to make the royal family popular by doing large amounts of charity. She supported Italy with all her heart. What makes her famous though is the pizza that was invented and named after her. The legend says she went to a pizzeria in Naples in 1889 where they made a pizza that had red tomatoes, white cheese, and green basil. And this reminded Margarita of the Italian flag. They named the pizza in her honor. Her husband was killed on July 29, 1900 by an anarchist. She stepped aside for her son's family and was a huge charity worker until her death in January 4th, 1926. I hope you liked that video. Hit that like and subscribe and see you in the next video you're about to click on your screen.